Hi, I'm Andrew, Head of Communications here at Nauticus Exchange. Welcome to the Dummies Guide to Passing KYC. The good news is that uh, if everything goes well, the process only takes around five minutes. However, you only get one KYC attempt before you'll need to contact support, um, so it's much better to get prepared and pass the first time. We've discovered a surprisingly high number of people fail to even upload their documents and selfies. So your best bet is to go grab your passport or license right now so they're ready when you need them. You'll also need a sheet of plain white paper and a thick marker. That's to do your selfie sign. Word of advice, uh, KYC is a lot easier to, uh, to do on a desktop or laptop computer. Uh, we're working on making it a lot easier on mobile with our forthcoming app. But until then, please do try and use a full-size device. Once you've signed in, hit the verify button. There's a bit of faffing around while our system comes online. It uh, just double checks if you've tried this before. So are you an individual or a business? Uh, if you're a business, you'll have to fill out a form. Um, so the rest of this process uh, just relates to being an individual. So select individual. Now, um, just fill out all these to the best of your ability. Um, it's ideal if uh, they exactly match your ID, but um, some people don't have their middle name on their ID, so uh, make sure you've got that in this form. Uh, if you don't have a unit number, then um, just leave that one blank. Uh, if you don't know what sort of street type you've got, just sort of try and make sure that we've got the uh, entire address at least somewhere in those fields, and we can fix it up a little bit later on. All right, uh, and yeah, the next screen is, are you acting as a sole trader? Um, look, the short answer is probably not. Uh, if you're not Australian and you don't have an Australian business number, then you're almost certainly not gonna be a sole trader. Uh, if you need to uh, double check, we've got a little link that you can find out some more information. Uh, this has got nothing to do with crypto trading, by the way. Uh, where do you live? Some nosy personal questions. Why are you opening an account? Sorts of funds. Just try and answer all these things honestly, please. All right, now we come to selecting your ID type. Uh, we've recently redesigned the process to make this a bit easier, and so we've included a few tips. For, um, for your ID, if you can, the gold standard is a passport. That's the, um, the one you're almost certainly gonna pass with. Um, so take a photo of the profile page and make sure your thumb isn't obscuring anything. It should be fine. If you don't have a passport, you can use a driver's license or government issued ID card. Um, with those, um, you need to make sure that at least something is written in Latin characters, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, if everything on your ID is written on Russian or Chinese characters, our system will reject it. And no, your library card and student ID, ski pass or photocopy passport aren't gonna work, so don't try them. So uh, let's select uh, driver's license. Um, now this is a screen just to uh, tell you that you need to have your driver's license and your selfie sign done before you go to the third party site. So um, let's continue. So here's some quick tips for success, all the things that um, you can fail on and a few tips on how to get it right. So we've already taken some pics but um, you know if you need to do it then just make sure you put your driver's license on a uh, flat surface and try to make sure there's no flash and that everything is legible. Um, for your selfie verification, um, what we're gonna do is, yeah, uh, it's ideal if you get a friend to uh, take a picture of you in a bright, well-lit room. Um, otherwise, you can probably manage to take a decent selfie yourself. Um, now, at this point, before you um, go any further, just make sure that you're uh, pictures are five megabytes or less, so they don't get rejected by a system. The way to do that, uh, if you're on a Mac, you uh, just right click and you go to uh, info, I believe it is, get info. Uh, and if you're on Windows, you do the same thing, but you go to properties and just double check that it's under five megabytes. So once you have done that, um, click and continue. Um, this is a, a new screen that we've, um, we've just added. This is because an awful lot of people we're um, uh, filling out their details incorrectly. So this is just one you know, double check that you've got everything completely right before we send you to our third party um, verification system. All right, 
So that looks right. Continue the verification. Okay, start ID verification. So choose your file. Here's the front. Continue. Upload the back. Continue. This is all pretty self evident, obviously. Here's your selfie sign. Here's one we prepared earlier. That's me, I've got a very deep voice for a lady. <laughs> and thank you for your submission. So um, that means you've done everything you can at this point. Um, and what we recommend here is just go for a long walk, you make yourself a cup of tea, and if you forget you've even heard about Nordicus for the rest of the afternoon. Please don't log straight back in, that can really muck up the process. Uh, it's best if you can just wait for an email from us saying that you've either been verified or that you need to try again. Uh, if you have failed, and there's no good reason you would, thanks to this highly informative instructional video, but if you have, you'll need to contact support for a few tips and tricks on how to complete KYC successfully. We've also got a Medium blog, so you can check out our blog, which has got a step-by-step -step walkthrough as well. Until next time, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, catch you next time around.